right, we back in the agency, HCR Studios. I'm your host, Agent and Bay, here with Porgy Jackson. And we are going to talk, we just gonna talk. Uh, I think we, we just saw Cam getting active. So um, I'm gonna try to key into whatever we were originally gonna talk about, which is art studio, art studio help, I'm trying to get some opportunities, or just the idea to talk about some things about ideas for artists to get, you know, ways to get creative outside the general space. Uh, see where we go from there. Hopefully, we just jump into other conversations. We get active out here. But, uh, <laughs> True that. Um, True that. So yeah, what we kind of talking about? I was talking. We're talking about creating studio spaces, man. It's like something. Um, I just go ahead and open blinds. Sun just trying to come I in. I know, but it's the way it's, it's right in my eyes. I know. I'm watching it like it's being. Like, hey, well, don't, don't, like, don't run from the light. Don't run from the light. The sun. Trying to let it shine on me too, because. Like, okay, the sun, like, okay. Just a silhouette. The sun just wanted to look in here. Yeah, I was like, all right, y'all got enough of this. Cool. Get my eyes back. I know, um, just it. Yeah. I was able to hear a little key song, baby. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but, um, nah, I feel you. Like, <laughs> like, I had explained in my other video that, like, for me, like, I didn't, like, the, the perceived idea that, you know, an artist, is, a full time artist is, you know, you got a patron, or maybe not, you're just in the studio, making artwork. And that's it. Like that picture is, is it might be painted to look like that. No, Social no, because it's, 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 it's like unrealistic. That. Because then you won't be a full time artist. You're gonna have to get you a job. Yeah, <laughs> like a couple jobs. Yeah. And you have to do some a lot of other stuff. That's you know that's not gonna give you the luxury of just being able to sit in your studio. Like you gotta really to be able to. You gotta be really well off as an artist to just mm. be able to sit and spend just your time just in the studio. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of a lot of hard work that goes into balancing it. Yeah, but even with with that, like, if you're creating art, then like, yeah, it's a full time artist, and all you're doing is creating art. Like, there has to be some version of like, all right, I made the art, and if the art is meant for the people, how do you present it to the people? Uh-huh. And you know, like, social media is just one avenue, but more than likely, you're trying to like, oh, I gotta exhibit it somehow, and that's when. Mm-hmm. You start dealing with emails and mm-hmm. information that you have to that has to come, you know, artist come statements with it. All, artist all this stuff has to come and, with it. Yeah. So like, um, with this, this art business growth challenge I've been doing, like most of it is about the business aspect of of, it, of being an artist. Mm-hmm. To where it's like you have to really operate as a business, and even the the time that you dedicate to to creating artwork has to be, you know. Uh, schedule. You, know what mm-hmm. I mean? you can't just be like, oh yeah, I'm just, I'm in the studio and it's perfect. Like you, like you, you gotta put in there like, oh, I got a day in here that I can art for like six hours, mm-hmm. and then you know, just That's like the so, end of my so, day. So but, true. but before that, I got this to fill out. I got this to do, and then however else you're operating as a business, you gotta organize where those things exist. That's so true, man. Because like, <laughs> you know what I mean, like. Um, yeah, like painting that picture of like what a full time artist is, people just need to see like various versions of it. Mm-hmm. And and when they, I guess when people start to hear more, like, oh, you gotta, you gotta answer emails. It's like, yeah, we're well, answering emails, but you also gotta send some. Exactly. <laughs> you gotta shoot your shot. A yeah, you bit. gotta create proposals. Yeah, like, develop, like, develop, <laughs> develop ideas. ideas, strategize, yeah. brand, yeah. market, rebrand, remarket, create content. Um, it's a it's a business like any other business, and on top of that, you have to create the product, you know? yeah. and then you have yeah. to uh, package the product and ship yeah. the product, <laughs> and ensure the product, Deliveries. and deliver it, and photograph it, and print it, <laughs> yeah, right. and update it to your website, <laughs> yeah. and, you know, keep your website updated, yeah. and you know, respond to emails. <laughs> yeah, right. that's, that's continuous. So yeah, I'm, so. I'm trying to think like what what a, what a good like suggestion to people would be to like starting in their career because like I feel like even becoming like like the title of emerging artist mm-hmm. is I think it had been like designated for essentially like the people who are fresh out of school or around mm-hmm. that era area. But like it's almost I think I feel like it's almost become like the same way like people look at. Uh, a bachelor's degree as being not much different than a high school diploma these days. I feel mm-hmm. like an emerging artist, is this related to that? Let me see if I can make this correlation. They're like, well, it's almost like you have to you have to reach a certain level just to become an emerging artist. You, gotcha. like you have mm-hmm. to, you have to be emerging. Yeah, <laughs> you have to like 
find yourself a little bit like you got to be on the scene to become emerging like before that you just like like what are you before i think that? so to become an emerging that. artist you gotta do exactly do that like people have to you have to first of all you have to be doing something long enough for people to do, get some measurements mm -hmm. you feel what i'm saying and yeah. when they measure it it has to be good mm -hmm. like you got to start here and then people be able to say okay okay then you, you, you're an artist yeah. you did your piece of art you know then it's like okay the art's getting better mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying the person get more active you know what I'm saying? And so people could actually watch your growth and like, oh, wow, they did that thing. That was really, really dope. You know what I'm saying? Wow, they did that thing again. That was really, yeah. you know, this is, oh, this person's emerging. Yeah. You know, this is a constant incline. Mm -hmm. And so that's when people start investing in you when you're emerging because they see the stock going up. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. Yeah, because, yeah, that's something I've been, like, contemplating about myself. It's like, am I emerging? Am I in between? Do it depend on what the application is asking for? <laughs> I like, think you gotta define it though. Like you gotta define right. about what your goals are. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. what was my goal when I set out? Yeah. You know, and if I accomplished mm -hmm. the, those goals that I set yeah. out for myself, I can look back five years ago and go in my notebooks and be like, well, <laughs> apparently I am emerging. Like, you know, this is what right. I tried. This is what I wanted to do. This right. is what I, I exceeded my expectations. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I think it's gonna be dependent upon yeah. how you are. You know what I mean? Tracking yourself, when yeah. tracking your own goals. Self-responsibility, yeah. Having that vision to be able to see yourself as what you should be, what you are, what you've been. That's a, yeah, yeah. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, we, if we're talking outside on camera. Yeah, we're about to be talking on camera now. <laughs> but, like, um, we were talking about creating opportunities versus essentially waiting for them yeah. to happen based off of maybe what you see. It's like, oh, so-and-so that I follow just did this. Mm. And like I, I mentioned, even, even what we're doing now is like, mm -hmm. my first inspiration was, you know, watching other artists and seeing them like have an interview about talking about, talking about their artwork and this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. And it's like, how long am I gonna sit around waiting for somebody to come knocking on my door to, to talk to me about my art? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I got a camera. Right there. <laughs> I got it. Art. Art. I know people. You know people. I know you. You know yeah. me. <laughs> I know my art. Like, all I yeah. needed was, you know, essentially a vehicle to, to share that information. Thanks to Google. And, yeah, right. And, and really just, like, trust. Yeah. You know, trust what it was that... That's really the confidence, to, like you yeah. said. Trust. You got to trust in your vision. Mm hmm You know? But even then, like, it, it took it took me recognizing where it was or where I stand either you know as an artist where I'm at locally mm -hmm. regionally nationally what kind of experiences I've had mm -hmm. for me to say that I had enough of a story to share mm -hmm. and to tell and you know and again having that confidence to say that I'm right. out here to do this because you may I had this I've had this camera for years I could have did this you know three years ago mm -hmm. when I got the camera but you know, did I have the know-how and the blah, 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 blah. It's always you know, about the, the, the divine time, you see, you know? It's a fact. Divine you know? time, and, like, the stars is definitely aligned um, in the area. The energy's here. Like, the, the collective is strong. Mm -hmm. um, the inspiration is high. You know, the expectations are high. The yep. stakes are high. And so, you know, it's, it's really about the divine time. And I'm glad you did, you know, decide to, yeah. you know, do your thing because this is dope. Experience, yeah, you know, it's creating opportunities. That's it, that's what we're trying to do myself and create a vision. Because you mean, like, what better inspiration than somebody that you can be like, Yo, I just saw you the other day, or I've been seeing you around here the mm -hmm. third. Like, I done been out enough times where like somebody walked up to me and was like, Are you so and so? Like, yeah, that yeah, feels dope. That was when he does. That's like, a I'm, good feeling. I was on Walmart yeah. the other day. And it happened. And, then, you know, you, your goal is for it to happen in Walmart. Like, <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? There's no other, like, he random was, place to be. He got up to me. He said, Poetry Jackson? I said, uh-huh. He was like, I like your work. That billboard? I like I, I like your art. I was like, oh, yeah. Well, thank That's you. That. I was That's getting amazing. in my car the other day. I was like, Poetry? I'm like... Exactly. Oh, that's me. That's me. That's me. But it's good. It, it feels good because it lets you know it's a confirmation mm -hmm. that you're walking in your purpose. That's okay. You know, and that's the confirmations. Because sometimes, you know, we get weary, we get tired. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get drained. Get Life get on you. Like it get on your lap. It get heavy. Yeah. You know, get on your shoulder. Sometimes yeah. it's heavy. The weight of the queen's crown. Sometimes. 
every time. Oh, God. But you got to keep your head up. It's right. right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You know, you got to take your time to write those long comments about how art moved you. Yeah. Like, we read it. It means something to yeah. us. Like, we, we like stuff like that. Yeah. You know, I we really like it. when y'all buy art. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but... <laughs> yeah. I had gotten, um... <laughs> Cause I got a DM from somebody some time ago, mm-hmm. and I can't remember what what it was that I shared, mm-hmm. but he had hit me. It was right before I started doing this, mm-hmm. and like I was already working on this. I just hadn't, you know, what I mean, put it out yet. Mm-hmm. And like one of his comments as we was talking, was it, like he was just like, "Yo, like you should have like a." I think that's what his first comment was like, "Yo, you need to get like a YouTube channel or something." Cause like, yeah. man, like people would, you can get active on that, man. You can make some money on that. Da, yeah, da, da, yeah. I can make some money on that. Anyway. That's what they say. That's what they yeah. keep saying. They keep saying. We're going to try it. We're going to see it. And so, like, <laughs> in my head, I was, like, him saying that was, again, confirmation for me that, like, mm-hmm. I was working, I was working in a way that people would want to access me or see me. Mm-hmm. So, I was just like, word. I was like, stay tuned. It's coming. Mm-hmm. And we got to talking about that. But then he just started going into a whole other bag. And he was just like, <laughs> hit me with the long comment. Like, man, yo, like. I really support what you're doing. I'm supporting yeah. anything you're doing. I don't know if I haven't met him in person. Yeah. I hope <laughs> maybe he don't know I'm talking about it. But either way, I was like, mm-hmm. I was like, yo, like, I was just like blown away by his his him being inspired, like a mm-hmm. young guy too. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. him saying saying enough to be like, yo, I'm like you. You made me want to buy. You made me want to buy artwork to put in my walls. You know I mean? love like, it. He was just like, yeah. I ain't, I ain't never thought about doing that, that, that but like, I love first time collectors. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I mean, I love, I love working with first time collectors when they're so moved by a piece that they're willing to purchase it and hang it up on their wall and put that energy inside of their home. And like, and it does something for them. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like, I feel like I'm in so many homes, like my ideas and my, my yeah. like, the, you know, the, the inspiration. Like, I want people to be able to look at it and be, re- and remember, you know, like, that's why I feel like it's so important that we, we, we make sure we transfer the right intent to our artwork because our artwork ends up in people's homes and on their walls and we got to put the, the, the proper intent into it yeah. like you know the purpose that goes into the creation i think it's something that really really resonates